So hi guys, I am finally here. This is the Gold Museum. Um, I've been wanting to come here for like a while now. Like I'm a huge fan of Josh Gate on the like expedition on Nome. I remember one episode he went to Colombia to to seek for the gold treasure legend in El um, El Dorado, and one of the ship that they discover at the lake uh, at the bottom of the lake is displayed here at the gold museum so i am very excited like i would be an adventurous you know just go to like solve whatever like mystery or legend <laughs> would be like that would be on my bucket list well of course i don't have the the resource to do that so like i'm just following the step of josh gate and now i'm here um Right on the line of gold museum, trying to go in to see that little piece of artifact, the little gold ship. Ciao, ciao. I'm here, El Oro. Uh, that discovered us at the bottom of the Lake El Dorado. It belonged to uh, to the ancient king. It says that he, his body was covered in gold when he went to the lake. And Josh Gate and his team actually went to El Dorado region by the lake, not far from Colombia. Uh, no, sorry, in Colombia, not far from Bogota to search for the hidden treasure. Of course, then when they get to the bottom, um, it was too muddy, like zero visibility, and they couldn't find anything. But they did find something from different period. So yes, this is why I'm here at the Museum of Gold in Bogota. Stay tuned. Fascinating. I'm a history buff. I don't know if any one of you know that. And I took archaeology class in college. According to myths, the gods gave men musical instruments so their sounds could regenerate the world. There were sacred objects which were only exhibited and used at certain ceremonies. And this is a trumpet in the Kalima region from the Malagana period 200 BC to 200 AC. So fascinating. Look at the craftsmanship of this. Look at the details. It's 1120 DC. During ceremonies, the hanging place on ornaments twinkle in the light and gave off metallic sounds which helped transform those present and enable them to communicate more easily with the gods. So all the twinkle in the light and the sound will bring you closer to the gods. Ooh. It is gorgeous.
Bird Woman, Vampire Man, and Snake Man reveal a universe of transmutations. When transformed into a vampire man, the persons observe the world upside down. As a bird woman, the person move into other dimensions of the cosmos. Whiskerath. Oh my god, that's so cool. This is a, well, it's a replica, but yes. Where the pee pee go? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mass gold funeral mass. Gold funeral mass, an ornament made of the sacred metal that remain unchanged over time. Immortalized the shifters with a symbolic power so they could go on taking part in the life of the community. Feline, <laughs> man. Los Hombres Felinos. And on top of everything else, so I suppose it's in a different room. So let's get out of here and walk next door to find it. The bird shaman in flight. So when the shaman is in the trance, he feels that he's transformed to a bird and makes long journeys. Some believe they get transfigured into a condor, others into a hummingbird or heron. The Muisca Prince of Ubaki say he flew to Santa Mata during his transformation. Do you believe in that? Maybe. Who knows? You never saw some myth, right? The shaman's attire. So they wear masks and objects in build of powers and meanings. Communicating with the spirits. The shaman flies to other dimensions in the cosmos so he can communicate with the spirits. He consults them about illness and the future, learns charms and dance, and negotiates fish and hunting animals with their owners. Just look at all this art, this artifact. So well presented. Shaman assistant, animal spirits, and fantastic being.
offering love. Who's all in those then? This is the... <laughs> that's all right. That's the one. This is the one. It's the one. This is the reason Josh Gate went on the expedition in Colombia.
piso. Ah, salida. Gracias. Con gusto.